kitchen. It has been a few weeks since I've done a recipe. But listen, you guys, I have not done a whole lot of cooking lately. Now, we're going to cook breakfast around here. We don't do nothing else. So you guys have seen enough of the same breakfast that we eat. So there was no need in video in that but. And we're going to always be cooking some breakfast around here. But listen, I did a video the end of December when I was trying to find my mind that I had lost during the Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday with all of the sweets and cakes and pies and just any and everything that I felt like I wanted to eat. I did some salmon patties. I had several comments on that video, y'all. Some of them are funny. Some of y'all, some of y'all real funny. Y'all just funny to me. Y'all funny to me, some of y'all. But look, listen. One of the comments in particular was from Miss Barb. Miss Barb, thank you so much. She said that they do tuna patties when... Pretty much when um, salmon, you know, y'all know salmon can be kind of pricey sometimes. So when the price increases, they do tuna patties. And she said you couldn't tell the difference. Y'all, I have never heard of a tuna patty. I love tuna fish, but I usually make my tuna fish salad. I've never done a tuna patty. So you guys, we're getting ready to do this together. We're getting ready to experiment. I've not looked at any videos. I've not Googled anything. She said you make them the same way. So the same thing I put in my salmon patties, I'm going to put in my tuna patties today. So we're going to see how this turns out together. Okay? So I'll be using, after I get through making all this noise, and yes, I'm using my plate again to the person who was annoyed because my plate was sliding. We gonna use this same plate to mix up my tuna patties. So we're using tuna. I always do the tuna that's in uh, water, that's packed in water. I never do the tuna in oil, okay? And I have four of these little five ounce cans. We have some onion here. Gonna use the rest of this onion. And I have a couple of eggs here. I have my salt and pepper and a little bit of vegetable oil I'm going to add to my cast iron. Y'all, we cooking these patties in this cast iron skillet. And uh, this time I'm using some, some just, this is fresh bread this time, you guys. It's not olderish and stellarish. It's fresh bread, okay? And I, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to use. Once I start grating it and adding it, then I'll kind of know. Because I'm, I'm totally doing this. I'm flying by the seat of my pants right now, okay? And then when I fix our sandwiches, I have some of my brioche-style hamburger buns. That's going to make a wonderful, wonderful sandwich. So, we're going to start by cleaning off these old nasty cans. I'm going to go to the sink and clean off these nasty cans. Y'all clean off these nasty cans. They nasty. They nasty. They've been all in the warehouse. Look at that. Don't just open up your can with all that old nasty stuff. Clean your cans off. They've been a little bit of everywhere. People's old nasty hands been all on them. So clean your cans off. So we're going to clean these cans off. One thing I do when I do my tuna, I drain my tuna and I squeeze out all of the water. That's just how I like to do when I do my tuna fish. So I'm going to do the same thing. So we're getting ready to go to the sink, get these cans cleaned off. We're going to drain and get my tuna really dry. And then we're going to start getting this, these tuna patties mixed up. Okay. Okay, so we've got these old nasty cans cleaned off. So this is my last can that I need to drain and squeeze all that water out. Yes, I have thoroughly washed my hands. 
Don't y'all be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Y'all know that's just nasty. And for the person who commented and said, since I talk about nasty hands in the kitchen, where are my service gloves? I am not going to be wearing service gloves in my kitchen, in my house, with my clean hands. Not going to happen. How about that? This is not a restaurant. I am at home. Okay, so now we have all of that water drained off. So I'm getting ready to cut up this onion. And you guys, I do like a lot of onion. So I'm going to use all of this. Every bit of it. And that's one good thing about recipes. You can always do, well, a recipe like this. If you don't want this much onion, you don't have to use this much onion or you don't have to use it at all. We like onions, so we're going to use it all. And I'm going to start with two slices of bread. Let me just kind of see what that looks like. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to add more. One thing about fresher bread is softer. And sometimes, in my opinion, it's a little harder to grate. I honestly like the bread to be a little frozen sometimes. If it's not real old and kind of stale and stiff, I like for it to be a little frozen. And it helps to, makes grating it so much easier. I think this was three. And just like with the salmon patties, you can use flour or flour and cornmeal. So whatever tickles your fancy. Okay. So I'm going to go on and add some of my vegetable oils to my skillet so it can start heating up. And I'm going to put enough to definitely cover the bottom of the pan. Okay. So while that's heating up, let me get my tuna mixed up Let's see and I'm gonna start by adding my salt and pepper And 
into that. We're gonna and I'm going to add my breadcrumbs. This is going to be really interesting. Okay, I think we've got these mixed up good now. So we're just going to patty them up. And get them in the pan. This is my last patty. It's going to be the smallest one. So we're just going to get these in the paint. Get them fried up. You guys, I don't have a real thin spatula, so that's why I'm trying to use this, or I'm using this fork to turn it. So, because I felt like if I tried to use a spatula, then it would, um, you know, it would break up. The heat from the grease isn't bothering me, so don't you guys be having a conniption. <laughs> I'm a veteran cook. If you're not a veteran cook, you might better uh, use your some use your spatula, okay? So you won't get burned. Yeah, these look so good. I cannot wait to try them.
Don't they look good? Ooh. And I do like mine cooked well done. Okay, now is the moment of truth. I can't wait any longer. I want to try one now. I did mention to my dude number one, aka my husband, when Miss Barb made the comment about you can use tuna and fix it, fix tuna patties just like you do salmon patties. Because and when I read that, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" So I mentioned that to my husband, but I did not tell him I was going to fix the tuna patties tonight. So when he comes home. I'm curious to see if he's going to think, he probably will, that these are salmon patties and just get his opinion once he tastes it just to see if he can tell the difference. So, let's see. I'm not going to tell him anything. I'm just going to let him taste it and see. Let's see. Okay, see this is how it looks. I just broke that little piece off. Y'all, this is the smallest one that I fixed. Okay, let's see. Let me tell you something. Miss Bob, you were not lying when you said you cannot tell the difference. If I didn't know, if I had not stood here and opened these cans of tuna and fixed this myself, I would think this was salmon. Y'all, these are really delicious look you cannot I cannot tell that this is not salmon patties oh my goodness Miss Barb thank you you have simplified my life I don't have to worry about trying to pick out bones and getting the skin on oh my goodness y'all I don't know I don't know that I will ever buy another can of salmon. I got one more can in that cabinet. And that's going to be probably the last one. Oh my goodness. Wow. These are delicious. Okay. So I'm going to fix my sandwich later on when my dude comes home. Dude number one. Let's get his take on it and see what he says. Oh my goodness. Wow. Get back this. I mean, these are a little thicker than they were the last time. Oh, it was greedy. Why don't you be greedy? I don't know why you gotta be greedy. Don't get the sandwich. What did it taste like? Bunch of meat. Just need a bunch of meat. What does it taste meat. like? Two little ash hands. I just got the shower. Can you tell the difference? Something's different. I can't tell what it is, though. What do you mean something's different? Something's different. What do you mean? I don't know. I can't put that. Put a finger on what it is. It's good. It's good. That's good. That's tuna. Yeah, I tricked him. I pulled the can out to kind of throw them out. Y'all know I said I had this one can left. That is tuna. You remember I told you I had a comment about you can do tuna patties just like you do salmon? Mm-hmm. That's tuna. Ain't that crazy? Is it good? It's good. I think I mean, it's, it's good really good. Too. I said I don't have to fool, fool with no bones and stuff no more. Wow. Y'all, this is good. Thank you so much, Miss Barb. I appreciate the comment. That's good. So that's really good. I, mean, I wanted you to I see it and you not know. It's something different, but I think you just say that because I say no, it. It's something, it it's something when I say something different, not bad, but it's it's really But it's funny because I could I couldn't tell the difference. Maybe I the think. texture. I don't know. It's something different. I couldn't tell. That's good. But they're good. That right there, you see that looks like that looks that little piece of tone right there. Anyway, but y'all, that's good. Look, we gonna eat, gonna fix some sandwiches. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like tuna, I mean if you like salmon and you like tuna, try this. However, you fix your salmon, do it the same way, but just add tuna and see if you like it. We're gonna eat. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's nosy.
Thanks for time. Give the video a thumbs up if you love it, if you like it. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. It is good. It's good. It really is. Mm -hmm.